If you are new to cryptocurrency mining, or you just want to find out, you know, what's the most profitable way of doing cryptocurrency mining, and what's the currently, uh, how currently is uh, profitable cryptocurrency uh, mining, uh, you want to stick around for this video. Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to Binding Hardware YouTube channel and it's very good to see us back here, oh, very nice. Um, so most of you guys or anyone who wants to get involved in cryptocurrency mining is there for profits, about 99% of the uh, people, uh, maybe only 1% is only there for um, supporting the network, but um, I do believe that uh, cryptocurrency mining uh, is in uh, high risk, high reward business category, you know, which is uh, quite uh, risky and quite dangerous. Uh, there's mo many things, you know, uh, that could happen. And, uh, you know, it's very hard to calculate the mining profitability, um, you know, for a week, for a month, for uh, uh, one year. Uh, many of you know that things can change very quickly in cryptocurrency to the upside or to the downside um, so yeah but um, there's a couple things uh, um, mining uh, profits depend on a few factors um, which brings your mining profitability so the first one is the um, mining cost mining equipment cost you know, how much you're paying for every hash you're getting. Uh, the second thing is a miner efficiency. How efficient is your miner? How efficient for every watt is your miner? And uh, the third thing, probably the main thing is the, uh, your power cost, because you know, the, your biggest cost for running a mining operation is power costs. And uh, it takes a lot, a big chunk from your profit, mining profit. And the fourth thing is uh, mining, what kind of mining software you're running, because there's a lot of different mining softwares. Some of them are getting more hash rate, some of them are getting less hash rate, some of them are using more power, some of them are uh, more efficient. Um, so this is the number four. And the number five thing is your other expenses, like for example, cooling, um, what else probably, uh, security, um, rent, rent is another big thing also uh, for some places uh, it is quite high and uh, also um, yeah some other costs some small costs some probably network connection and so on you have to take all these things in effect you know mining isn't any other uh, uh, you know it's the same as any other business you know you want to get your um, investment back as fast as possible so doing the uh, most efficient way is the most less risky way to do mining. I'll give you one example. So um, there's two guys, John and Gary. Um, let's say they buy 10 Unminer S9 for the same price. Uh, they from, buy from one distributor. Uh, so John decides to locate his miners in his home, in the garage, you know, he doesn't need anything. He has, you know, network connection, he has shelves, he has everything. Um, and his power cost is 10 cents a kilowatt. But Gary uh, finds a very good deal in a data center and uh, his uh, power costs all inclusive. You know, there's no extra other costs. It is uh, costing him uh, 5 cents a kilowatt, uh, kilowatt hour. So of course, Gary will make his, um, if, if, both, if both of the guys make their investment back, Gary will make it much more faster because his power is much more cheaper, of course. But it's, it's not only that, you know, whoever was running, you know, mining operation through 2018, 2019, knows that some of the, you know, times, some of the months, uh, mining profits, uh, doesn't cover your power costs, you know, if your power is quite expensive. Um, so, 
you know, it's a very big deal that Gary could run his mining operation much more longer because his power is much more cheaper. You know, in some of the months, uh, John's uh, mining operation has to be shut down because his profits doesn't cover uh, the mining, uh, the, the power costs. The, the mining profits doesn't cover mining, uh, uh, mining power costs. So yeah, this is a very big thing. Um, you know, you know, less risky way. It doesn't mean uh, there's still not a uh, way to lose the money, because um, you know, for example, there could come out new generation miner, which could be more efficient. In that way, your older generation miner, you know, if it didn't reach the re your in return of investment. Um, you have to look, you know, for different options to, you know, because you have to change the miner because it might be not any profitable to run it um, to a newer generation miner. So these are the things uh, you have to be afraid of. Um, this is most of the times is for ASIC miners, you know, not not the case for the, uh, not as big case for GPU miners because like they, they are much more safer. Um, for example, like. I would say, you know, whoever bought the uh, RX 570 graphics card when it was released, I bet they uh, would be, uh, made their, their money back up to until now. You know, a lot of people are saying, you know, when the profit is low, mining is dead and there's no mining. But you can see, you know, the network still has a hash rate. So it means, you know, if somebody has mining, you know, everybody cannot be mining uh, by losing the money. Um, so, you know, Whoever is probably on the network, their uh, net, their <coughs> power costs are very cheap, so they can afford to uh, run um, the uh, miners at this profitability cost. Um, so yeah, I'm in mining business for over three years now, and have gained a lot of experience. Um, I has been through ups and downs, and made a big gains and also a big losses. Um, you know, uh, the, probably the most losses was for getting into the ASIC miner. Um, but you know, you have to learn sometimes in the hard way. Um, so I just want to uh, make sure that you guys don't need to learn this hard way uh, by buying equipment. You know, sometimes when you see a newer generation miner has been released, or maybe a new miner for new coin, you see a very big profit. Uh, so you order loads of these machines. You you. I'll receive them and uh, you know the profit's not there anymore and uh, you understand this that uh, the whole uh, profitability was the marketing trick uh, for you to buy machines you know and it's also a gamble you know you don't know what could happen in the in the uh, after after a few months you know with the, with the same currency you know the difficulty could rise uh, the price could go down the price could go up there's a lot of things um, this is more with the with the ASIC miners yeah um, as I said, the GPU miners are much more uh, less riskier. Uh, if, I, if you want me to suggest you ASIC mining, I would suggest you, you know, go for coins like Litecoin um, or uh, Bitcoin, because these coins are here from nearly from the, from the very start, and of course Bitcoin is, uh, and you know, their <clears throat> mining has uh, so advanced already. The mining hardware is so advanced because you know there's been a lot of research uh, all these years uh, to make a very efficient uh, mining rigs. So the newer generation miner comes out, it's not as anymore as efficient. Like it can't do 10x or 20x efficiency on the mining. You know, I can give you one example. You know, Unminer S17 was released there a couple of months ago, and Unminer S9 uh, is still profitable. Uh, in some of the places, you know, if your power is quite cheap. So, yeah, this is, this is uh, you know, if you want to get into ASIC mining. Um, first of, of course, um, you ha if you want to get into the mining, you have to do a business plan. Um, you have to do all your calculations, what's going to be your costs, what kind of miners you're going to uh, buy, you know, what you're expecting from this coin in the next six months, one year, you know, you have to do research about the coin. You know, if there's planning any maybe hard forks, 
maybe to you know remove the ASIC miners from their network and so on. You know, you have to do all this uh, due diligence up first before you are starting a, a mining farm. You know, small or large, it doesn't matter. Um, so there's a lot of lot of information you have to gather before you start mining. Um, and of course you have to do a mining profit um, calculations. I can show you this website where to look for this. Um, so let's go to screen and check out the uh, mining profits uh, currently, which is uh, for mining the main currencies. Let's go. So I want to do these calculations in uh, three parts. You know, there's three, I, what I think there's three um, groups of hardware you can use uh, for mining. Um, so, you know, there's AMD cards, which are good for some coins, and there's NVIDIA cards, which are good for some coins, and also ASIC mining, uh, where you can check the profitability. This is what I think. So, let's go through a very good website to calculate your profit is whattomine.com. And uh, let's go uh, standard 6 GPU rig, standard 6 RX 570, which I think is still very efficient graphics cards to use for mining. Um, so uh, they are very good on Ethereum. So 183 mega hash and 700 watts, and uh, also on Crypto Knight R uh, mining alg algorithm, 5,000 hashes at 700 watts. Uh, power cost is uh, 10 cents per kilowatt. You know, probably average house user uh, price. Uh, so calculate. And you can see um, there is profit on Ethereum. You know, where a few months ago there was no profit uh, at these prices. But, you know, start, we're starting to see some uh, profitability as the currency price is going up. Because, uh, you know, the last couple of months uh, they uh, went up 200% nearly. Um, so, so, yeah, these are the profits. You know, most profitable is to mine Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. Um, for both of the coins about the same profit. Um, so yeah, Monero, Monero is not so profitable, but still uh, it is in the profit and it does cover power costs. Um, so the next is Nvidia cards, uh, six, uh, 16, uh, uh, 60 Ti graphics cards. They're doing also very good on Ethereum, about the same hashing speed as the RX 570, but they uh, do a lot less uh, power usage on Ethereum. Um, so, but uh, you know, the price per hash is quite high on these also. Um, they are very good price per hash on the, the Kukuru 29 algorithm and also on the X16R. So let's see the profits on, on these, with these graphics cards. So you can see the green coin is the most profitable to mine and it's uh, $4 per rig profit uh, per 24 hours which I think it is amazing. Uh, it's probably also because the green coin has had a small pump last few days. Um, so it's quite profitable. And also the Raven coin is not too bad. It's $3.6 uh, per rig. So yeah, um, but you know, the, your return on investment is still quite a long time, probably about, about $4 a day. Um, yeah, about, about 600 days, I mean, nearly two years, you know, if of course the profit stays the same, but we, all, we know that's not the case always, it could go up or down, you know, very significantly. Um, I do believe there is a lot of future for cryptocurrency and I do believe it could go up, but you know, <laughs> that's a uh, for risk for everyone else, everyone else separately to take. Um, so the uh, ASIC miners uh, is a very good website called ASIC minervalue.com where you will see uh, the newest miners the oldest miners you know you see the average profitability what they are currently making and in that way you uh, will know uh, which miners to choose I would be very careful where you see release date you know it's red um, that means they are only on pre-orders you know and their profitability you know <laughs> 1150 a day um, uh, yeah, so, <laughs> you know, you have to be very careful where you see the miners are only a pre-order because, you know, when you will receive the miner, you know, the profit just won't be there, you know, this is what I was telling you before, you have to be very careful with these miners, you know, 
I would suggest you just go Bitcoin and Litecoin, you know. You, you know, it's a very high risk, very high reward also on these miners. You could be gambling and be the first one who orders this miner and receive this uh, first and maybe in a few days you get your investment back. About 90% of the people who order after you maybe uh, might lose the money. So, um, so yeah, you just better mine buying Bitcoin. Maybe also, maybe also Zcash. You can see Zcash miner here, thirteen dollars. I think it's very. This one is very expensive. So yeah. So yeah, about ASIC miner. Very careful. Be very careful. So mining is very risky, as you can see. Um, there's a lot of factors, but you know, as any other business, also there's a lot of risk and it. It never does say you that you're gonna make money or you're gonna only get your money back or you're gonna lose your money. Um, you know, you can only you know do your calculations as best as possible and reduce the risk as low as possible. In that way, you don't lose the money. You know, because the technology is still very new and we. You know, everyone who is involved knows where it's going, but you know, we still need adoption. Uh, to see where it's going um, to be. So, yeah, I hope this video was helpful to you. And if it does, I would appreciate if you hit the like button and also share with your friends if you found value from this. And hit the bell button on the right uh, bottom corner to not miss the next videos. And thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on the next video. Bye, 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 bye.